Hey guys, Rich from Rich Me Gaming. Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. Uh, welcome to this episode 7 of our Star Wars Shatterpoint Beginner's Guide, the video series where we're taking the entire rulebook and putting it into a video format to hopefully make it that much easier for you guys at home to understand. Um, we covered line of sight in the last video. Uh, we're now looking at cover. Uh, and again, I purposely chose to separate these out um, from the main attack piece that we've also got, you know, ready to go. But um, the it was just too big. It was just too big to do everything in one video. So we've broken them down and hopefully making it easier for you guys as well, uh, because you can then just refer to this video when you need to know about cover in the game. Um, so cover in Marvel, not Marvel Crisis Protocol, cover in Shatterpoint. Um, it's, it's a little bit different again to other games that you may be used to if you're coming from mcp there's going to be a lot of transferable skills there a lot of this is maybe going to make sense a little bit uh, quicker for you um, but let's first of all start and take a look at what cover gives you in shatterpoint because again it is different to marvel crisis protocol and it's also different to star wars legion plus any of the other games out there that you may have played. But before we do that, guys, a quick reminder that we are giving away a Star Wars Shatterpoint core box. We're going to be doing the draw on the 4th of May, so only two days away now. So this is going to be one of the last couple of videos that you, there's going to be a chance to enter. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a like. And then make sure you answer the question that I'll be asking at the end of this video. So cover in Star Wars Shatterpoint. What is it? What are we doing? Well, cover in Star Wars Shatterpoint is basically a character benefiting from cover adds defense dice equal to their cover value when defending against a ranged attack. So covering this game, uh, as it is in most games, is just for ranged attacks. It's not going to work against any melee attacks. And it is a stacking thing, so cover can stack. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can gain cover in this game. So let's go through and take a look at those, starting with um, gaining cover from terrain. So every single person in the game has access to... They actually, they both have access to the two ways that they can gain cover. Um, but to gain cover one, so you're going to gain cover one from terrain, characters must meet all of the following requirements. First of all, the defending character must be within range one of one or more terrain parts at the same or higher elevation than the attacking character. Secondly, a straight line can be drawn from any portion of the attacking character's base to any portion of the defending character's base through any number of these terrain parts. Now, that word through has caused some confusion. I'm going to give you an example and show why that may be the case. Um, lastly then, as we've already mentioned, it needs to be a ranged attack. However, the lines that we draw for cover are drawn from a top-down view. And that's going to be really, really important uh, when we're getting our head around some of these examples of cover. Um, so let's jump in and take a look at a couple of examples then. So first of all, we've got Ahsoka Tano. She stood atop a building, or a piece of terrain, sorry. Um, she's also got a piece of terrain in front of her. That's clear terrain. She stood atop um, blocked terrain, but she's got clear terrain in front of her as well. And Gar Saxon is wanting to make an attack. And as we established in our previous video, we know that he already has line of sight. So question number one. Is Ahsoka Tano within range one of terrain that is the same level or higher than the attacker? Well, it is a tick because we can see she has both the clear terrain in the form of the ladders that are in front of her and she stood atop a piece of terrain. If you are stood atop a piece of terrain, if your base is overlapping, that's the terminology they use, then you are automatically within range one. So therefore, that is going to be a tick box. Secondly, can a straight line be drawn through any parts of these terrain parts from any part of the attacker's base to any part of the defender's base? It's very, very wordy. Basically, if we draw a line, does it go through terrain? Well, we can see there that it's going to pass through terrain. And remembering that it's any part of the defender's base, so even if we were to remove uh, the, the ladders there, we could draw it to the back of her base and it would still pass through that terrain. However, 
keep in mind that through part because it's a little bit misleading. And then lastly, is it a ranged attack? Well, we know it's a ranged attack because Gar Saxon is outside of range 2 and therefore can't make a melee attack. So once again, a tick box. So in this example, Ahsoka Tano is going to have cover. Uh, let's take a look at a different one then. Uh, so now we've got um, whoever it is you want it to be, blue player attacking red player. And we know that blue player has line of sight because it's any part of your base to any part of the object, the object being the defender in this one. And we can see quite clearly that the defender is easily within range one of that piece of terrain. So that is a tick box there. Again, can we draw a straight line through these bases following the rules? Well, if we look there, once again, very, very easily we can draw we can draw that through. So that is another tick box. And then lastly, is it a range attack? Well, again, this is outside of range two, but we've already established it is a range attack. So yes, once again, we are going to get cover in that example. Okay, so let's move on to another example that I think is going to cause some controversy some confusion um but we've got anakin skywalker and he stood atop one of these gantries which we know is a piece of clear terrain but that doesn't play into this uh, particular example and darth maul has turned up and we know darth maul has his lightsaber thrower on one side of his stance card and he's decided he wants to yeet a lightsaber at anakin skywalker now does anakin get cover from this attack now I know a lot of people, including myself, even though I've come from MTP, would look at this and go, well, they're both at the same level. It doesn't actually pass through the terrain, so therefore Anakin wouldn't get cover. But let's go through and break it down once again. So, is Anakin within range 1 of terrain at the same level or higher than the attacker? Well, yes, yes he is, because he stood atop a piece of terrain, and we've already established that if you're stood atop, then it is a tick box. Is it a ranged attack? Well, again, Darth Maul is outside. Sorry, Lord Maul, give him his true title. Uh, Lord Maul is outside of range two, therefore it must be a ranged attack because you've got to be within range two to make a melee attack. So we can tick that box as well. And then lastly, straight line, yada, yada, yada. So let's draw the line there. Now, you may look like this line is atop the terrain and therefore... It, it doesn't it doesn't pass through any of that terrain. You know, if there was a little box in front of Anakin, then maybe, but actually, if we go back to what we said before, where we look at this from a top-down view, then yes, that does pass through terrain. And I really wish AMG would what's the correct word? Use some different verbiage rather than through, because through to me um, means it goes through it, not over the top of it. Uh, but if we take a look at this from a top-down view, which is how this game... This game isn't played in 2D like MCP is, but for some weird reason we've got a blend here of 3D gaming with elevation, but when it comes to cover and a little bit line of sight, um, it is very much done from a top-down view. So we can see we've got the, the bridge that they're stood upon. We've got Anakin to the left. We've got um, Lord Maul to the right. And for the purposes of this game, whether you agree with it or not, but for the purposes of this game, that line that we've just drawn is deemed as passing through the terrain. Um, again, to me in my head, it doesn't make sense. It's the one rule when it comes to cover in Marvel Crisis Protocol that never made sense to me. If two people were stood at the same uh, elevation, then how can they get cover? But it, it, it is the rules. Um, now, obviously, you can choose to not use these rules. Uh, you know, that's completely your own thing. But just be aware that if you are going and you are playing in um, tournaments, ranked events, that sort of thing, uh, this would give you cover. So two characters at the same elevation um, it is deemed as passing through the terrain. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one, but um, one that... Um, there's a really, really good article on 
the Shatterpoint uh, forum. Um, I'll link that. I'll show you the Shatterpoint Facebook group. I'll link that um, so you can see that as well. There's a couple of other examples, but I think those three really cover it off. Um, it takes it might take a little bit to get your head around, but hey, it, it is what it is. These are the rules. The, 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 I think Pagani did clarify all of these. So these are absolutely 100% the rules. Um, so yeah, just something that you probably need to have a little think about and just get your head around a little bit. I'd like to take a minute to thank the brand new sponsor of the channel, Leodis Games. Leodis are a great local gaming store in West Yorkshire. They stock all of your favourite MCP and Sat Point products, plus a huge range of other gaming systems. They also have an awesome gaming space where weekly events are held. We've already been running our MCP league that's coming into its fourth season. Uh, we've hosted a number of MCP events and we'll be doing so for Shatterpoint as well. So hopefully we can see you guys there at some of the events in the future there'll be a link down in the description below and if you're looking for a place to get all of your hobby and purchases at a great price then look no further than leo disc games okay guys so i mentioned that there was two ways in which a unit could gain cover terrain that we've already gone through whether or not you agree with the rules they they are the rules um but secondly is hunker tokens. So hunker tokens a unit can also gain cover from hunker tokens each hunker token that a unit has grants characters in that unit cover one. Um, so a couple of things here. Hunker tokens can be stacked both with each other and if the character is gaining from cover from a terrain piece. So if you're getting cover from a terrain piece and you've got a hunker token, you're going to be adding in two extra die to your defense pool. However, there are some rules around hunker tokens when you uh, keep them, when you take them away. So, a unit loses all of its hunker tokens at the start of its activation or when it becomes engaged. It does not use them during an attack. So, other tokens of this type in other games, uh, you can choose to use them uh, when, a, when an attack comes in and you can use them to you know, mitigate results and that, that kind of thing. It's not how it works in this game. Um, you keep any hunker tokens that you gain um, throughout, you know, throughout the duration of, of different turns until the point where it's your activation. And then when you activate a unit again, um, you basically lose them all. You are, however, uh, going to lose them when you become engaged. So if you remember back to one of the other videos, uh, to be engaged is to be within range two of a enemy character or a non-wounded enemy character. Um, and as we mentioned, it doesn't use them. They, they just stay there throughout the attack. So before you get activated, if you've got five hunker tokens, you're going to add five extra defense dice for every single ranged attack coming into you. And lastly, is a unit a unit that is engaged cannot gain or have hunker tokens. So you can't gain any more, um, and they can't actually have any hunker tokens whatsoever. Now, as always, these are the rules in the book. Um, there are always going to be exceptions to these rules. Uh, I'm going to show you an example already that we that we've had when it comes to hunker tokens, um, but they'll be clearly stated on a character's card. Um, so, how can we gain a hunker token? Well. Every single character in the game has access to, and I keep saying character, I meant unit, but every single unit in this game has access to take cover. Now, each character in the unit may be pushed ranged one, and the unit gains a hunger token. So if this is a support unit with uh, two characters in there, they can both be pushed, but then they jointly gain one hunker token and they share those hunker tokens as well. Um, let's have a look at other ways in which we can gain hunker tokens. Well, we've already mentioned a support group. Let's talk about the 501st Clone Troopers. Um, they have a active ability there that is defensive maneuver. Each character in this unit may dash. If any character dashes, this unit gains a hunker token. And once again, they're not going to gain two hunker tokens for this. They're only going to gain a single one because it says a character can dash, but then the unit gains a hunker token. It's also worth pointing out as well, um, with support units, if there's two characters, because they're shared resources, if one of them becomes engaged, the other one no longer has access to those hunger tokens. Again, there's going to be some, you know, exceptions to, to those rules. Um, 
We've also got the ability to give hunger tokens to other people as well. So Captain Rex here, uh, he has his tactic ability that is get a move on soldier at the start of a unit activation. A choose a character in this unit or another allied Galactic Republic character. That's the keyword down at the bottom. Um, the chosen character may dash and gain a hunker token. Um, Rex has actually a couple of different ways of dishing them out to himself as well so he's also got defensive manoeuvre uh, but you'll also see that a lot of characters are going to have other benefits when they do actually have a hunker token so if we look here we've got bring it on clankers after an allied clone trooper within range three of this unit gains a hunker token one character in that unit may heal uh, and we've also got brothers in arms on both characters uh, which gives them steadfast and we'll talk about some keywords at a later date now, I mentioned that there are always exceptions to the rule, um, and we've already seen an exception to the hunker token rule in the form of General Obi-Wan Kenobi. Apologies for the quality of this um, screenshot. It was taken, I think, from a projector uh, from Star Wars Celebration over here in London uh, the other week. But if we take a look at his um, at his ability there, knowledge and defense, allied units do not lose their hunker tokens when they become engaged and can have hunker tokens while they are engaged. While an allied Galactic Republic unit has one or more, it adds one die to its defense rolls against melee attacks. And then it's got a couple of other things there at the bottom that it does as well. But you can see it already breaks the rules. Um, but it's always going to be clearly stated on a character's card. The de facto is always going to be the rule book, um, and then things on a character's stat card will override things that are in the rule. But you know, we've had it recently as well uh, with Asajj Ventress. We can see there she has a uh, an active ability that clearly states she can use it twice, whereas the rule book states you can only use things once. So things on stat cards overwrite the rule book, um, and it's just really worth being aware of all the different rules that are out there on all of the different stat cards. Um, and there we are, guys. That is cover. Uh, the different ways in which you can gain it. Um, the weird and wonderful rules about top-down views in a 3D game. And like I say, guys, whether you agree with it or not, uh, whether you choose to play those rules in your own friendly environment settings, you can use true line of sight if you so wish. Just be aware that when you do go to an organised event, when this game does come out, looking forward to it so much. Uh, but when this game does come out, you do go to organised events. Um, these are the rules that are going to be used. So it's it's worth, whether you agree with them or not, it's worth making sure uh, you understand them so you don't get caught out. As I mentioned, guys, we are giving away a Star Wars Shatterpoint core box. We're going to be doing that on the 4th of May, so only two days away. Um, and I want to get your guys' views on cover. Uh, what do you guys think of cover in this game? Uh, is it confusing? Do you understand it? As I mentioned, I'm gonna, I'll am put a link back to, I think it's Ragador. Uh, he put a really good visual post up as well, so I'll link back to that one. Um, also, a big shout out to um, Neil at Leodis Games, the brand new sponsor of the channel. And as we mentioned, hopefully this week, the core box should be turning up. So if you are in the West Yorkshire area, area and you do want to organize a demo game of star wars shatterpoint before it comes out um drop me a dm we can sort out a time of the day uh, we can get you guys booked in at the odis games for your demo um and that's it guys that's going to be it for this video uh, please do leave a like please subscribe if you haven't done uh, if you want to support the channel even further we do have our patreon up and running where from as little as a pound a month you can help support the channel we've also got our discord completely free to join there's a dedicated chat point um uh, sort of part of it on there or just forget thread forum whatever it is group whatever it is there's a, a shatter point chat that we talk about all the different rules uh we've got some squad building stuff in there as well some strike team building stuff as well uh so go and check that out again links down to the in the description below to absolutely everything and as always guys it leaves me with just enough time to say stay well keep safe and until next time may the force be with you